alcoholism, these drugs. I think what y'all are doing is great. But I think going Don't say something on the sign now. Turn it over for the other no, side. I don't need the sign. We go to church, we're Christians. But I think going against the grain and scaring these people into believing. Exactly. I'm, what not it worried, I'm not worried about the sign. Yeah, I'm that's what fake Christians say. That's what fake Christians say. What no, you just told me. I know, but scaring people into believing. That's what fake Christians say. Fake believers say that all the time. You're just pushing people away. That's what they say. But they don't ever do it themselves. They don't ever go out and preach the gospel. They never try to lead people to God. No, that's that's that, why why put the mic down? I want everyone to hear. Okay. You see, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Then let me have the mic. Say something. What do you want to say? If you go against the grain and scare people into believing this, you are not the salt of the earth. You are telling people that if they do not repent, you're scaring them into this. To be a productive say it witness. Loud, man. Say, it right in say, say it louder. Oh, I got you, brother. I'm just you got put put your mouth closer like, to it. You know, it's okay. It's we actually, it's a good point. Go good ahead point. and say it. To be productive as a Christian, you have to inspire these people. You have to show them by example. It's true. By standing out here and saying these things, there's people walking in there, and they're being pushed away by your message. I understand your message is pure. We are followers of Christ. But this hold on, hold on. Talking. I'll let you speak. Hey, there's a you don't touch between. my mic. I will man. touch this mic. If no, you I go want to jail, to. buddy. Go to jail. Go to jail. Yeah, what you're doing jail, is I don't want you to go to jail. I'm just asking you to be polite and respect our equipment. Police. I'm trying to talk to you. Hey, if the you're a Christian, you'd have self-control. You have the fruit of the spirit. Why are you grabbing? Yes, my, why are you because putting your hand you're on the mic? And I'm not. I've offered to speak with you, but you have to. You have to respect. Hand me that mic. Hand me that mic. Okay. What do you want to say? Okay. That you're that you're going to be a preacher. But but here's the problem. You got to understand how Jesus preached. You claim that Hand Jesus that never mic. preached about hell. Okay. Hand me that mic. I want to go back to what you said. Then I'll Hand give you a mic. chance to, to, to answer. Hand me the mic. No no. You see you're, you're, you see what you're doing Hand here. Hand me the mic. You're, you're being you're being disrespectful and you're you're I'm getting angry and impatient. I want to say something. Okay. We came out here with a message. We came out here with a, with our equipment. And you're, you're really just trying to take control of this, and that's not a good thing. You're saying you're a Christian. The Bible says, be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Be angry, do not sin. Meditate within your heart and your bed and be still, the scripture says. Okay, sir, listen. Listen, I care for you, but I really want to understand your objections. Okay? No, no, no. What you don't get is that you came up to lay a snare for those who were proven the gate, as Isaiah 29 says. To do. You, you turn aside the just by empty words, the scripture says. And, and, and the mic? Look, sir, sir, you got to understand. Hey, who don't, don't, don't call. Look, Jesus said, it, it, those who reject you, reject me, Jesus said. Don't reject the messengers of God. We came out here for the just cause to see people get saved. Are you going to stand in the, in, the, in the way of somebody that might be in sin that could go off tonight and loot and, and die? And you're going to say that what we're doing is wrong? You said that Jesus didn't say anything about hell, sir. Have you been reading your Bible? Absolutely. Are you reading your Bible? What did you say about hell? Let the orange Jesus said, off. he said, if your hand caused you to sin, he said, cut your hand off. He said, it better for you to have one hand to enter into life than to have two hands to enter into hell. So what is this? Do you believe Matthew 5 or not? But Jesus said, it was an urgent message about hell. Don't fear him who can kill the body but cannot kill the soul. But fear him, rather, it says, who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew 10, 28. We're concerned for you because you don't understand the fear of God. What's the beginning of knowledge and wisdom? The fear of God. The Pharisees. Look, you need the, the fear law. of God. The oh no, no, no! It says, it says, law. it says that those who reject the law, it says that they're an abomination to God. You, 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 you need, you need the law of Christ, which makes you free from the law of sin and death. You see, but you understand the law because you're lawless. All you're doing if you're, if you're a mic. sinner and you live in sins, you're mic. not, you're not Just following the, the Christ law. What is the law of Christ, huh? Obedience, you're faith. Doing, you're talking. You're not even listening. Yeah, I'm to preaching. I, I'm giving you the scriptures. You're preaching, but we're asking telling you what the Bible questions. says, sir. We're asking you questions. No, okay. Let me hold sir, the mic. I, I, I answered your I questions, and I showed you that Jesus did preach about hell, that you do need the fear of God. The Bible says, be not I wise have, in your own eyes, I but fear never, God. I have never says, met a Christian like you. You need the I'll fear of God, sir. You. Do you fear God? Do you Absolutely. fear God? Do you okay, fear so why anybody? do you why are you why are you so against us preaching that, that the people should fear God? Mic. Why won't you let me hold the mic? Are you scared of no, what no, I'm, I'm saying? I'm answering because are you, you are what I'm going you were objecting to the fear of God. You said we're scaring people. We shouldn't your... scare people into the into the believing. Just we're trying to compel Let's people to mic. believe. They need Jesus. The the you mic. need to stop grabbing the mic, sir. You see, how can you have the fruit of Christ in you? I'll let you speak in a minute if you wait. Give me the mic. I'll let you speak in a minute, but I want to answer these okay, points, okay? I want all these people to understand what the scripture says about the fear of God. This is a nation that doesn't fear God. 